Double MG. Jay, I got it. I got it. Four stacks for the hills on my bitch feet. Car seat still smelling like 10 keys. Tell a plug that I'm looking for an increase. Wings stop, fat boy. I need a 10 piece. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What up, still Spaz 57, how y'all doing out there, check, check, check it out. So NBA 2K14 debuted this year and it's, it's been an amazing ride so far, man, I mean, there's a lot of things going on, we got the whole my career that everybody loves and enjoys, where you develop your player, get them upgrades, equip them with dunks, sneakers, tats, all that type of stuff, accessories. Then we have the park mode, the park mode, everybody loves that as well. We all love the park mode. Um, it's introduced, and you know, it's a good addition to NBA 2K. You got to give them a round of applause on that. But systematically, we all know it has a lot of issues, and it can be very upsetting, especially when you can't get a spot on the court when a spot is open. When parks don't work, it, it's real ugly. Uh, people hold mood shift changes and everything, and it's only because you got to be a hundred percent real. With the company at the end of the day if you pay sixty dollars you don't want a game that's that only works halfway you know what i'm saying you're paying full price for a game that works halfway and that's not that's not good for the consumers but it's, it's good mode this mode right here is another mode my team oh my gosh it's, this has the potential to be one of the best modes 2k has ever had next to crew this this mode right here has the potential to be the best mode that 2K has ever had next to crew. And I really mean that. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I'm saying, this game right here, with the exception of its glitches, which, you know, kind of hinders its performance when you look at things like you losing your diamond cars that you worked so hard for. You losing players that you spent VC on and that's not good at all because when you come out of your pocket and you're really spending money, real money for VC and for the game to glitch out on you, you know what I'm saying? And if, you know, you have to figure things out like uninstalling and installing the game to get your, your foul back, you know, and that's, that's like, if you don't know that, that's what you do to get the cards back and that's not good at all. Now, when it comes to the 2K today, this is one of the biggest frustrations as a as a gamer for NBA 2K in my personal opinion other than the server issues that it has and what I was just mentioning with my team and the parks. This is one of the most frustrating things when you don't hit the roster updates. When your rosters are incomplete and you have rosters with players that's not even on it on the team and players that are supposed to be on the team not on the team that's like a gamers especially someone that, that plays simulation ball not the arcade style because there's, there's a community out there that doesn't even play my team or my career or even mess with the park because they're so adamant you know about sticking to sim nba you know the nba and i think at times 2k misses out on the nba aspect of nba 2k you know but let's keep moving right along so this is still for us online gamers we're missing our online association we really would like to have that back we really would i mean there are plenty of people out there that play this mode as well and other people are just concentrating on the arcade aspects of the game. Whether it be, you know, for um, the entertainment value or their YouTube channels. Nothing's wrong with that. I don't want to sound like a hater, but we're missing out on the real NBA aspect once again of, of the game. And I think that's what a lot of people really want in the game and what we really love to see, you know, moving on to the future. Now, practice plays. I personally like running practice plays. Everybody that's like a sim head likes doing practice plays. And it's a shame that we have to come into a scrimmage game just to play practice plays and, and practice our plays, actually. You know, and it's, it's not good at all. It's not a good look. 
at all and we just want practice plays back um, we shouldn't have to go to scrimmage or even learn the plays on the fly we should have ample time in our own environment with just our five guys practicing plays like it, like it was in last gen and I think that's missing from the game that's a big a big issue that a lot of sim sim gamers is having and basically we feel like they don't even cater to the sim community anymore at all like it's it's everything's my team my career um my gm i guess that was supposed to take over association which involves a lot of vc that we're not too happy about microtransaction as a whole we're not too happy about but it's Lewis Bass 57. That's just the rundown on the rundown, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section.